Let's go out to Remington Parkway Golf Course in Toronto. Golf courses are open out there. I love it. Davis Sanchez, CFL, NFL alum joins us from the CFL on TSN. Look at look, him smiling. Of course he's smiling. How you doing, Sanch? <laughs> uh, Dan, the golf course is always a good day, right? So, uh, <laughs> Better yeah, than a bad day at work. Course. That's what they say, isn't it? Yeah. Have you teed off already, Davis? We have, yeah. Yeah, we... Uh... I think I'm on about uh, about five right now, but uh, beautiful, beautiful day out here. My game is atrocious. Uh, first first round of the year, like I said, but uh, enjoying it. Well, listen, we will not keep you long, but I'm very humbled you take the time to join us, Davis. Look, XFL, CFL. Let's start there. What are your thoughts? Yeah, well, lots. I, I do appreciate. I, would, I will say this, Roddy. I appreciate you guys during the. During the days, weekdays, sitting around, uh, a lot of us are at home right now. Being able to talk CFL midweek on your, on your show, I've enjoyed it a lot. And, and uh, I do apologize for being out on the course. I've been looking forward to looking forward to talk to you guys uh, for a bit now. So uh, it sucked this landed on a holiday and ended up being on the golf course. But uh, but uh, yeah, there's been a lot of conversation about this. And and the one thing I I do want to say, and I haven't heard a lot about this, but I, I think for guys who are playing right now, the current players. It's really hard to to get an accurate feel uh, of how these guys, um, you know, their comfort with this or or their excitement for a possible merger. Uh, when you realize that it's probably going to take away from the chance of these guys getting on the field this year or um, you know sooner, and that to me is, is something that's hasn't been talked about enough. You know, these guys have already missed a whole year of checks. Most guys that didn't get signing bonuses. And I could imagine. I mean, it's it's been tough for these guys, and and now you're talking about, uh, you know, merger a merger, which in the long term, financially can benefit these guys. But you know, the reality says if you're putting energy on on this merger, it could take away from the likelihood of these guys getting checks this year. Now we haven't heard that, but I think that's just reality. So I take with a grain of salt anything that I hear from players uh, and their. Uh, in their reluctancy um, with this merger for that reason. Well, it makes perfect sense. What about all the big-name guys that have retired? Can you speak on that? Because the average fan doesn't really understand why they're doing it. You know, I know, but it's not good when you lose stars like that. I think there's a, you know, to, to your point, the star star guys that are guaranteed to make X dollars when we return those guys, you're not going to see a ton of those guys return. But if I'm a guy that's, you know, in the middle or towards the end of my run, you got to move on. And I, I think that's, you know, I, if you don't know you're, you're certain to be on a roster, you're certain to make X dollars and, and you know uh, you're closer to the end than the beginning, I think that would be a time I would have I would have jumped off as well. And I, I completely understand. And I don't think it goes to a fact they don't believe in what's possible or or – they don't like it. I think more fact is just uh, you got to got to make a move. And to add to that, guys, is you know if you're a if you're a player right now and and you're retiring or you're leaving the game uh, and you're not sh- certain to be guaranteed, uh, what else do you do? Uh, you, you don't you can't wait around. And that's why you see guys saying they're not going back or di- displeased with how things are going. It's uh, it's because they're they're not certain. There's no guaranteed contracts, and that's. Uh, that's a tough pill to swallow. Hey, last one for you, Sanch, because I don't want to hold you up. And by the way, our viewers want to see your swing, so I'm just going to put that out there. Are you, do you are you fearful for the future of Canadian amateur football vis-a-vis the ratio for pros or just how this trickles down all the way into minor football? Look, I'm, I'm a huge advocate for the CFL. If we could keep you know this CFL the way it is and it was sustainable moving forward, that would be my vote. No question about it. But it seems as though that's not a reality anymore. So that being said, maybe you move on and uh, and look at this merger as, as uh, something viable. To add to, to your question about, about junior football or, or amateur football in Canada, the ratio is something um, that's a must. I don't care how this merger takes place, what rules we play. The one thing that's got to be there. Um, if we're playing in Canada, which we're going to be, is there has to be a ratio. And it's probably not going to be the same, but there's got to be a ratio. That that gives kids like myself and so many others, uh, you know, the possibility to play 
pro football. Um, you know, to see somebody in your in your neighborhood that's doing, um, you know, what you dream to do. I would have never played. I ended up playing the NFL, and you know, as we know, and and, and starting as a in the National Football League. But I would have never played pro football at all if it wasn't for the CFL. I needed the ratio because I was a late bloomer, just like so many others. Um, I just think it's it's crucial to for the ratio. To, you know, that's that's where you got to draw a line in the sand is, is the ratio, in my opinion. Absolutely. You're making a lot of sense. Listen, we'll let you go. You're looking fresh, by the way. I love I love what you got going on there. Can your partner show us your swing? Everybody wants to see it. Do you want to do that or not, Davis? Oh, oh, I'm, uh, I'm headed, they're ahead of me right now on the green. I'm going to drive up to them, but uh, uh, I appreciate you guys. Thanks, Roddy, and uh, hopefully we'll do it again, and I'll be uh, at the house and we can chop it up again. And, uh, yeah, keep doing what you're doing, fellas. All right. Hit him straight. Yeah, thanks. Davis Sanchez, look at wow. So he we couldn't see his swing because he's putting, and we oh man, that tells you what kind of guy he is right there, right? That he would sit on the side of the fairway. So go ahead, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'll catch up. You're watching Rod Peterson on demand. For more of the Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.